Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you an updated video of my updated backyard crossing setup. Uh, a couple things. First, um, I replaced the front lights of the railroad crossing signal with a pair of 12 inch safe train lights. Uh, there were formerly uh, 8 inch lights on it. Um, I personally like the look of the 12 inch better, uh, which is why. Um, I put them up there, but in the back I still do have the 8 inch, so I did keep uh, half of them on there. Um, so that's kind of the uh, first update with the, the crossing setup. The second uh, update is actually this light right here. Um, I have it set up for a preempt status, so the theory behind it would be this light would be. Um, at the railroad crossing for whatever reason, I can't really think of one right now, but uh, to direct cars through it or at an intersection or anything. Um, so what the theory behind it is, is the green light is always on when the gate is up. Um, as soon as the railroad crossing signal uh, indicates that there is a train coming by um, activating the warning uh, red lights, that causes this signal to go into a preempt flash status. So what happens is the light will go from green to yellow to red and then there's a bimodal uh, arrow which is right here that will go to green to indicate to people that would be moving through to turn right again this is a made-up scenario there's no set rhyme or reason with it then that uh, bimodal arrow will switch from green to yellow indicating that there is a through uh, that they need to complete the turn and once that completes that phase, the traffic light will then flash in the sequence right here. Now one thing I need to uh, want to point out is when the preempt status initiates, this bottom light here will start flashing the railroad uh, crossing uh, signal to indicate that the preempt status has been activated, therefore meaning there is a train coming. So that's what that signal means. And that will stay flashing during the entire time that the crossing gate is activated. Once the gate goes up, and powers down or uh, uh, disengages the uh, flash that will stop flashing as soon as this goes back so if I flip the gate to the up mode here you will see the gate goes up and we still have this flashing status here and as soon as it gets up and clears it goes from yellow to red and then back to green and the light shuts off so the uh, traffic light is controlled by a uh, railroad, I'm sorry, a traffic light control box which is inside my garage there, run via conduit under the ground and into the, the garage right there. Um, it's set in a standard preempt mode, uh, meaning that if you are at an intersection where you have an emergency vehicle that would go through, uh, causing the signal to change from green for that direct for that direction that that vehicle may be traveling and you see those little white lights at the top of the intersections that flash um, the indicator lights that's essentially the same setup 
with this, uh, except instead of the white light, the flashing light is going to be the uh, railroad crossing signal, which is right here. Um, but yeah, it's there's again there's no specific setup. Um, there's a million and one ways you can set this up to flash. I just have this one flashing yellow um, as the uh, crossing signal is uh, being activated here. Um, so I just want to try something different. I will activate this here one more time. So it's activated, which is going to cause the yellow light to start flashing. On a second here, there's the bimodal uh, arrow indication signaling traffic to move over. So light will change from yellow to red, keeping the uh, green right arrow indication lit. And a few seconds here, that will switch from green to yellow, indicating people need to complete the movement through the traffic lane. And so there's the yellow, then it will shut off and then it will go into the yellow flash mode. And again, I'm not sure why it would, in a real life scenario, why you would have it actually have it flash yellow, but it was a cool feature and I figured why not. And then again, that alternates between that and the um, indicator light right there. And then again, as soon as the traffic, I'm sorry, as soon as the train clears, the gate goes up, it sends an indicator to the control that the preemption is off, which will disengage the signal. So if I wanted to, I mean, I could have this traffic light perform like a normal traffic light, but the controller I have is set up specifically for this setup only. So um, it won't, it will stay as long as the gate is up and there's power to the signal, but the crossing lights aren't activated this uh, traffic light will stay green for 20 years. It won't ever <laughs> shut off until uh, the uh, gate um, receives the preemption call that there's a train coming indicating the uh, phases for the signal to proceed with their selected pattern. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to try something different and uh, finally got around to messing around with it and getting it to work. And getting it to work was kind of the biggest pain in the butt since there's no rhyme or reason to, um, or there's not really a, 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 a clear-cut way of doing it just kind of a trial and error but finally got to work so yeah if you have any questions definitely leave a comment below and uh definitely more than happy to um answer any of your uh, questions about it again uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video hey guys i just wanted to show you real quick behind the scenes of the uh, traffic light portion of the railroad crossing project i have with the preemption um so this is my traffic cabin i have um, I'm running a ASC 2S1000 controller. Um, I've got a ASC 3 1000, but I'm not currently using it it's for a future project. And in your uh, malfunction management unit um, over here. And right now, when the uh, railroad crossing, it's the gate is set, so it is, I believe. Uh, the down position with the lights going. So as you can see here, it's got it. Um, the preamp mode is active and it's causing the uh, light to flash cycle. And you can see down here in the load switches, this is going to be the uh, the preempt outputs, and then this is going to be the um, the flashing uh, units are going. I could go into uh, great detail on this, but uh, from people that are interested in it uh, just for the traffic light portion um, again I'm running the uh, standard uh, traffic control cabinet it's a type 2 uh, unit to control the traffic light so just kind of give you kind of behind the scenes of uh, how that works uh, unfortunately it's not just a like a small module it's, a, it's the real deal uh, sent it up but it's all the traffic light is uh, hooked into the rail crossing and the rail crossing control box which is outside my house comes in with a couple of the wires down here so when that system activates that the gate is down it causes this system which can which uh, controls just that light out there uh, to go into the preamp mode which will make it go through the uh, cycles that you saw in the earlier video so yeah I just want to kind of show you a quick behind the scenes of uh, how that works <laughs>